What's crank a liking everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood Dire Fox. Today we're gonna to be looking at our slash sandwiches! And with the very first sandwich we got here today. Holy smokes. Oh yo, within the bacon? <laughs> what am I looking at? And then you got the nice spread of sauce here, clearly a mayonnaise mixed with something else, the tomatoes, the lettuce, and we cannot forget about the guacamole. Where is this place? I need to find it. I need one. I just, I got it add, added to the shelf here. If you get a sandwich that looks like that, it is a sin to eat it. No! <laughs> Dog, that is a cheese. A cheese? No. We're talking about a fried Fly chicken, chicken burger. burger. Ooh, with some smoked sausage, or as they say in America, bacon. This I can smell through the screen. Yo, if you never had pesto on a grilled cheese before, Stop, it's super good. However, 45 minutes were cut from this video due to Dyer's long expo on how good pesto is. Who knew? Same thing with grilling the cheese. I mean, some people just have it just plain. Who has cold cheese on cold bread? It's a thing. People order that stuff all the time. Why? I don't get it. It defeats the purpose. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, this is, I mean, that's hype. It's not a BLT. No, oh, that burger though. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> Yo, if someone told you right now, that you were looking at a miracle. Two cheeseburgers cooked to perfection with grilled onions, with savory cheese on homemade buns. Two homemade buns. This is probably what you're thinking of right here with the sesame seeds. Damn, we gotta, we gotta look underneath the hood too, dude! It doesn't get any better than that. They're cooking it properly. There's enough grease ratio to cheeseburger ratio to onion ratio, and then you slap some cheese on it. Whoever made this earned themselves a trip to Valhalla. What is this, dude? Come on. It's like, no meat? What is this? Is that fish? It's tomatoes. Dude, get out of here with that. Get out of here with... Oh, oh, oh hello there. Ew. Mm -mm -mm. Got that Thousand Island dressing. Ooh, and I'm going to take a wild guess that there's a, a cheeseburger underneath that layer of cheese. Damn. Got that little strip of bacon there. It's a nice, thick, juicy piece of bacon. <sighs> Slap some lettuce and tomato and call it perfect. I'm just saying, a burger isn't fully dressed unless it has lettuce and tomato. That's way too much lettuce and tomato. No. You just missed one thing. Where's the meat? You gotta have a meat ratio. I don't wanna bind into a sandwich and just taste meat. I also wanna taste everything else, but that right there would be like binding into a salad. I mean, that does look like a, a homegrown tomato though. So I will give you props. I mean, you can even see the, the pit over here. Look at that. So they clearly either got this from a farmer's market 
which it deserves to be a tomato sandwich for that. Oh, it's a BLT. The oh, 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 dear lord, I've completely misunderstood you. Thick slices, I will admit on that tomato, but other than that, it looks pretty good. I should have also read that. I'm gonna stop this video right here. Anyways, folks, thank you so much for watching this. I'm hoping to make more videos like this for right now. Got a messed up hand. Uh, so yeah. I hope you folks have a fantastic rest of your day. This has been your friendly neighborhood, Dire Fox, signing out.